the Supreme Court itself is sort of an anti-democratic institution, right? Like they, the justices are not elected and they are insulated from political consequences. But even worse is that they are sort of systematically attacking um, our democracy more broadly. You know, back in 2013, um, in Shelby County v. Holder, they gutted the Voting Rights Act. They basically said, we don't really need Section 4 and 5 of the Voting Rights Act anymore, which protects um, voters of color in states with long histories of racial discrimination in voting. Um, we don't really need those any, anymore because John Roberts said at the time uh, that things had changed dramatically in the South. And so we didn't need the Voting Rights Act much because um, the racism that had sort of infected our election systems in the South was over with, in other words. Obviously not true, because within you know 24 hours of that case coming down, legislatures in the South were holding special sessions to limit the ability of people of color to participate in elections. So this court is really, um, and has been for some time, uh, even at just as recently as last term, when they gutted the rest <laughs> of the Voting Rights Act, is basically saying... Um, we're protected from political consequences, and we want all of our friends, which who are Republicans, to be protected from political consequences as well. And so when they issue these rulings that say, well, if you don't like it, just um, you know, change your state legislatures, they know full well that they've ravaged the, um, the political systems at the state level and the federal level as well. So that's basically an impossible task.